Good morning, John. It is Friday. Good morning, Hank. That was very good. I'm about to fall off. I can do Use this your core. Day. Use your core. So, John, you uh, have been talking to me about Crown Hill Cemetery for a long time. Highest point in Indianapolis. America's greatest cemetery. The most vice presidents per square mile anywhere in the U.S. It's true. As long as you count dead ones. So here's what we decided to do. I was like, let's go epitaph hunting. Yeah. And then we will reconvene and share the best epitaph. And if you have the money to spare a few extra words onto your tombstone, I think it adds a lot. Yeah. Even just one. Bananas. I want to start with this guy here, Hank. Stan Mollis. He died in 2012, and his uh, tombstone is a tennis net, and it says "Game Set Match." Because uh, that's when it's over. That's when. That's when it's over. all over. Is he a tennis player? He was not only a tennis. He was a professional tennis player. He owned the magnet company that designed magnets for the Apollo mission tennis that were instrumental to the uh, Apollo mission mooning. Oh, to a, moon, to a moon arrival. To America's mooning. Yes, Hank, I'm sure you recall Neil Armstrong's first words <laughs> upon landing on the moon. Yeah. I am mooning! Let us moon! <laughs> we did it, Buzz! We're mooning! What is that? Is he's, that your, are you mooning? Yeah, he's mooning. Now, what is your understanding of the verb to moon? Walk upon the moon. Oh, okay. This one was weird. Laughter is the best medicine. Why are you on this planet? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's very funny. And it's like, I don't know, man. Great question. <laughs> I found a similarly inscrutable one. The sober one is currently on tour. You will always remain in our hearts forever. The, the sober first, one is currently on tour. The first part sounds like an artificial intelligence is writing <laughs> Does it? <laughs> John, this one on the back in quotation marks just says, I'm all right. I'm all right. I'm all right. While we're talking about ones that are lovely. He filled his niche and accomplished his task. He left the world better than he found it. That's nice. I think it's lovely we've talked about good ones. I think we should talk about some bad ones. Uh -huh. Beginning with this guy, Ebenezer Dumont. My criticism is that he's obviously a very accomplished person. He has listed way too many accomplishments. The font gets too small, and so you end up, you can't even read all the things that, that he did. You've got to pick a couple things. Like Benjamin Harrison, who was president of the United States, picked a couple of things. Yeah. It says lawyer and publicist, which it turns out, meant something different then. Yeah, it seems like a weird thing to pick out. Like, I was a lawyer, and also I helped people get into <laughs> Us Weekly. <laughs> Back then it meant, like, uh, a, a person concerned with or expert in right. issues of the public. Ah. I am very fond of the idea that even the things we etch in stone are not necessarily Absolutely. etched in stone. I liked this one. To live in the hearts of others is not to die. Mm. These days, mausoleums cost, like, what houses cost. They don't do them anymore. Very rarely. The last one was the Bane one. Oh my god, the Bane one. Can we talk about it? It's on the hill where the fancy people are buried. It's a very normal looking mausoleum. Uh -huh. It's got a, a nice little walk, oh, it's got a walkway it's a up lot to of it. space. A lot of space. It's open. It's very neoclassical. Mm -hmm. And I've always just walked past it and thought, like, that's a mausoleum. Hank Green, ever curious, walks up to the edge of the mausoleum. And what is inside is... Truly astonishing. I'm sorry that I couldn't get better footage of it than this. I And more power to him. Like, yes. just oh, add, add the whimsy. Yeah, I mean, it's <clears throat> such an odd place because, of course, it is very somber. Yeah. And there is a lot of sadness there. But there is also room for that. Thank you for taking me there. Thank you for showing me around. You are becoming a legitimate tour guide of Crown Hill. Um, well, now maybe that I... that'll be your job <laughs> eventually. Oh, gosh, someday. John, I'll see you now. Bye.